But oh, here I am. Oh, we ended up at uh, 59. I think it's interesting that we could uh, actually do these 10, uh, 10, 10 lines at a time um, to show and prove a point about the code that this is the 60s. The numbers of the 60s, there's probably another code within this code. But more than anything, it's about six. Six is representing the interior works. Or what would wind up being, you know, following G, following the, following the way. All right, the word. But it's about coming inside. This is this idea, this is where the myths is. All right, it's the vine. The vine is what number six represents. Okay. So let's let's go and uh, see what happens when we read about the 60s, okay? He saw a Samaritan carrying a lamb and going to Judea. Just that alone, uh, a Samaritan is someone like you and me, an everyday kind of person, but he's got a lamb on his shoulders and he's on his way to Judea. So, and he's in the midst, and so, yeah, this guy, <coughs> this guy's on his way to see God, all right? But the idea is, oh, no, you're not going to be able to kill him. Oh, no, he says he's not going to kill him while he's alive. He's going to wait until he's dead. Then he's going to eat him, all right? But that's what this little story here is about. Uh, on 60, right at the beginning, it says, you know, no, he's... See him carrying that lamb, you know, he's not going to eat it just right out. Not while it's alive. He's got to turn into a carcass first before it can be devoured. So that's going into meditation and be, being that ourselves with the bread, with this, with this business of being fed from, with the, with the, with the feast, with the offering, with the sacrifice. 61, Jesus said, two will recline on a couch one will die one will live salome says uh who are you mister you have climbed onto my couch and eaten from my table as if you are from someone jesus said to her i am the one who comes from what is whole i was granted from the things of my father I am your disciple. For this reason, I say, if one is whole, one will be filled with light. But if one is divided, one will be filled with darkness. All right, well, we're just going to end this on this one here, the bottom part of this 61, which is a seven. The ideas of, of, the, of the single eye, if we, can, if we can open up the single eye, your, your, your body will fill with light. But if your eye be evil, there'll be nothing but darkness. So this is the same one of these 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 sayings. All right. One will recline and one will rise up. One will be dead and one will rise. This is the, the outside of you is the carcass. Okay. This is all about going within. This is following the number six. All right. Let's go on. A couple of these are tough. So we're, we're going to see if we can get to it. Number 62. Jesus said, I dec disclose my mystery to those who are worthy of my mysteries. Okay. Hello. Little Jesus' little helper here. I want to show you how to do this. Okay. It says, uh, I disclose my mystery mysteries to those who are worthy. Because if you only can read the parable, if you can only read the word, the letter side of this, you're part of the unworthy. That's what they're, he'd be, he's asked by his, by his apostles. He says, why is it, master or teacher, that you tell us, that you give us the keys to the kingdom, but to them you tell them parables? He says, because you are worthy. They are not. I don't know how many or how hard that is to get that through a Christian's head when they're following Jesus. They just don't get it. So this is six, seven, eight, eight. Eight is a uh, controlled number. Jesus says, I disclose it to those people that have my mysteries. So the, 
So he gives it to us. He gives it to me. He gave it to me. I give it to you. Number 63, Jesus said, there was a rich person who had a great deal of money. He said, I shall invest my money so that uh, uh, so that I may sow, replant, and fill my storehouses with produce, that I lack nothing. These were the things he was thinking in his heart, but that very night he died. Anyone with two ears had better listen. So they make this out to sound like there's something terrible, but this is this this idea of in our Bible at the midnight is basically where this this death happens. And um, he's he asked for all of this. This is what he wanted. He wanted to have everything, and so that means to bring on mother, bring on this, this son, and and bring on this, this well, to bring everything on. And so that night he died. So this is this idea that. Uh, uh, when you have to buy things, this is where we say people with the mark of the beast, they won't be able to buy or sell unless they have this mark of the beast. Now, everyone has it, but not everyone knows how to use this mark. And it says this mark will make you follow the beast. And it will, because it doesn't work. But then when you do find it, it helps you away from the beast, it takes you away from it, it takes the beast out of you. All right. Number 63. This is this uh, this guy about the, the anyone with two ears. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine is a conscious number. Nine should be like whether or not this is a, a, a good a good omen or a bad omen. <clears throat> so anybody that wants to store things up in their own, this, this is a, a number four, basically. All right, because they would say, I, I, I may sow, I may reap, I may plant, I may fill my storehouse. That's one, two, three, and four. Uh, so I may sow, which is the first under the, under the mind, and this is the lower mind. And then two is reap. Reap is the, uh, the sixth. This is our situation where we would, uh, uh, our soul, this is where we go up and down. This is the moon part. Reap. This is uh, plant is your seed itself. And to fill my storehouse. This is when you have abundance of God is this idea that you won't run out ever. There is no famine in the land. And so later on that night, he died. Okay. Here's one here, a person receiving guests. Now, this is an interesting one, number 64. 64, that'd be six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a one. So it's a God is, is asking something. It's usually what one is, the beginning of something. So we get here is a, a person is a person was receiving guests. When he had prepared the dinner. He sent his slave to invite the guests. Now, before I go any further with this, I want you to put, bear in mind a similar struck uh, when, when, so, when God is in a banquet for a prince or princess or someone, and he goes to go, we'll go and find guests. And all these people are busy, you know, as we keep going on this. It's the same thing. Jesus. All right, it says, uh, Jesus said a person was receiving guests when he was pre when he had prepared the dinner, he sent his slave to invite the guests. The slave went to the first and said to that one, my master invites you. And the mer some merchants owe me some money tonight. I've got to go and pick it up. Blah, blah, blah. So that one says no. All right, these are all made up in the fours. The slave went to another and said uh, uh, to that one, my master who has invited you. And the slave, uh, la, 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 that one said, I don't have no tongue. I've been called away for the day. The slave went to another and said, my master invites you. He said to the slave, my friend is to be married. I'm to arrange the banquet. I shall not be able to come. Please excuse me from dinner. The slave went to another and said, my master invites you. This is a, starting off a new world, a new set of worlds. 
And the one said to the slave, I had bought an estate. I am going to collect the rent. And I shall, I shall not be able to come. Please excuse me. The slave returned and said to his master, which is the second one, the, those whom you invited to dinner have asked to be excused. And the master said to his slave, go out on the streets. Bring back whomever you find from at dinner. Buyers and merchants will not enter the place of my father. Buyers and merchants. All right, so it's cool. There, there is this call from the God to come to a banquet and no one comes. All right, the same with this. When it came down time for the marriage ceremony, the, the one man that they found didn't even have the right clothes on, so they were all taken away. Everybody, this is that nobody comes, that if you're, if you're a servant, which is an outsider, a merchant is an outsider, none of these people will enter thy father. That means they won't go inside themselves because they're really stuck on the outside. They're like ravens. They just really like the outside. It's an outside thing. Buyers and merchants, and that's what they were talking about. Oh, I got to buy this. Oh, I got to do this. And this, I got to go and buy this. And this one here, got to go and do this. This is buyers and sellers. This is on the outside. So uh, this is what the skin represents in this situation. And it's not a good thing, but in this situation, it keeps them on the outside. They will not attempt to go inside the father. All right. It's a nice, inter it's a way nice weaving of the word there. As we continue on, the number sixes, we got 65. That'd be an 11. So that's a two. All right. This is an idea that, uh, remember, six is still about the interior. He says a person owned a vineyard and rented to some farmers. All right. Here's the vineyard. Okay. This is, this is pretty cool, too. All right. Number two. Number 65. All right. Oh, he says that they could uh, that they could work, they could collect its crop from them. He sent a slave to the farmers. To the farmers would give to him the vineyard's crops. They grabbed him, beat him, and almost killed him. And the slave returned and told his master. And he said, perhaps they didn't know them. So he sent another slave. The farmers beat that one almost as well. Remember, we've said, we've heard this before. We've heard this. Before. It's like the guy who's who sent out, and and he, someone else has your your uh, your vine has control over your control over uh, how you're going to communicate to God. Someone else is in charge of this, and it's a thieves and robbers. This is what happens when we're connected to to the material side of things and religion. Okay. The outside, okay? And so it just doesn't work. It says, then the master sent his son, which is his mate, the child, okay? Then the master finally sent his son, all right? Perhaps they'll know my son and give him some respect. Because the farmers knew it was the heir of the vineyard, they grabbed him and killed him. Anyone here with two ears that can listen, all right? This is two. This is, this is what happens, all right? But I think we're going to, well, no. Because the farmer knew that this one was the heir, when they came down time, they killed it. That's what we want. That's the whole point of this. You know, who's taking care of this part? And he sent a slave, and he sent a slave, and they just got beat. That's the, that's the works. When he sent his own son... When he sent his son to seed, he was killed. All right? And that's the direction that you want things to go in. All right? So um, let's continue on with this. That one that one there, mm, I'd maybe work on that one a little more. All right? But number 66, that's a 12. All right? So if you put 12 together, that's three. That's an intervention number. All right? So six and six, so... 66, Jesus said, show me the stone that the builders rejected. 
That is the keystone. How many times I've wrestled with re religious people over this pineal gland, Petra, Peter, Peter right here, Simon, as being the place where our where, where Jesus' ministry begins, right there, the stone, right? Jesus said, show me the stone that the builders rejected. Builders, you're the builder. We reject this for the first parts of our lives and for many lives. We reject this 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 part of us. Through the help of the of Pharisees or other religious people and encounters telling us don't go that route, don't go that way. So they don't go in and they don't want you to go in either. It's better that you stay on the outside. People usually can love on the outside. But everything's about loving on the outside. You know, when you go to the outside, you're that biblical queer, you know, the male on male situation going on. But let's get keep, keep, keep going here. So the stone that the builders rejects winds up being the absolute keystone. So, you know, this is the idea. When you give up this inner side, when you give up what's on the inside for the outside, this is where we have made this pact with, with God that we would, or with Father, that we would give up our soul in order to live. Do you understand? This is what it's telling. It's the, this is the whole point of the stories. All right? We still have a couple more of these. Jesus said, those who know all but are lacking in themselves are utterly lacking. All right, well, this is if you don't have the light, you're in darkness. It's the same idea. What does that add up to? Six and six is 12, and 13 would be a four, a world. Next one would be a five about our body. Number 67, Jesus said, know who know all. Those who know all are lacking in themselves, are utterly lacking. Oh, we just did that one there. So, Four, that's a four are lacking. Jesus said, "Congratulations to you when you are hated and persecuted, and no place will be found wherever you have been persecuted." That one I'm going to have to have some work on. Number sixty-nine. Jesus said, "Congratulations to those who have been persecuted in their hearts." They are the ones who have truly come to know the Father. Congratulations to those who are hungry. So the stomach of the one in want may be filled. It's our child that we want to fill. We, we've been starving. And it's thirsty. and It's hungry. Everything that we've ever given it has been bad for it. That's what they say. If you've done this to any, to any of these little things, you've done it to me. It's about our soul. When persecuted is this idea we need to, uh, we have to circumcise this heart. We have to cut it away from whatever it was attached to. And what it was attached to, it really learned. You know, this, this idea of the strange woman being our only care system for many lifetimes, we grow pretty attached to her. And no matter what she's made out to be, she is our mom for a while. She's not the real mom, but she is a mom of some kind. And in the Bible, they cannot wait to bash her head up against the wall. Do you understand? But she serves a role and a purpose. And this is really cool. So this is the numbers in the number six, and it talked everything about what goes on inside of us. The vine that's climbing up onto the couch, laying there, one living, one dying. It's beautiful. It's absolutely wild. That one living and one dying, you can pretty much say that that's about, uh, that has to do with where we at. <clears throat> the rapture. This is a rapture talk where, you know, one will, two will be out, one will be left behind, and one will be taken away, whatever. Same damn thing, all right? That was the number six 
in number 60s, the last 10 of these here. This is, this is pretty cool. All right, so before we even look ahead, which I'm going to on my own, you can do it on your own. We can do it right here. You can look it up. Sevens. Sevens are going to be about the Lord's Day. All right? It's got to be because that's showing that this old scripture fits right in there with the rest of the Bible. It has not been uh, changed yet or brought manipulated in any way. It is being written exactly the same way as the rest of the Bible is done by the same authors. So regardless of who mankind says made this in one year, it dubs like stuff like that, means nothing, all right? They are all writing off of the same patterns, the very same templates. That's what it is, or it's not in here, all right? <clears throat> Once I find some homemade shit going on, that's out, it's gone. All right, we know something happened, something terrible happened. So far, it's following beautifully, all right? And when I read other texts, like from the Tao, or the Tao, 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 whichever one you want to, however you say it, the Tao, it's mentioned in numbers. It'll say chapter one, verse two, right? Two, three, four, one, two, three, 25, 35, 85, 75, 105. All of these things, you'll see they all follow this code. That's how you can listen. Tune your ear. This is the coolest shit on earth. All right. Hope you got something out of this. Come back again. Promise.